Okay, so this is the punch defense for student level one. Peyton? All right, so your first, your first punch defense is going to be slip, okay? So when Peyton gives me the jab, I just move my head offline. That's your slip. Notice my hands are still up. Don't slip like this, okay? I see that a lot. You wanna keep this front hand up. Slip, when he throws the cross, slip, okay? You don't have to go a lot. So when he throws the cross, I don't have to slip like this. So if he retracts, see how far away I am from him? If we change the angle here, and he throws that cross, I'm not slipping way over here. I'm only moving a little bit. So when he throws it, I slip. Now I can counter with my body shots and my kicks. Much easier that way. So after you slip, I like to add a quarter turn to it. So when, uh, let's go right knee. So when Peyton throws the cross, I slip, cross. I slip, and then I quarter turn, okay? That's one of my favorite things to do to set up the rear leg kick. So one more time, I step, quarter turn, and then I fire the kick, all right? Your next one is your bob and weave. So when you bob and weave, Peyton's gonna throw the front hand hook. Right, real wide hook. I'm gonna circle underneath, and then I can return with the punches, okay? Keep in mind, anytime you do any of these punch defenses, you always wanna return something at the end of it, whether that's punches or kicks, a uh, combination of the both. Don't just do your defense and then stand there, because he's gonna come with another punch. So again, back on the bottom weave, when he goes to throw this wide hook, notice I use my legs, I lower my level, and then I come underneath. The bottom knee is not this. A lot of beginning students do that. They bend too much, you're gonna get a knee, okay? Especially in kickboxing. So when he throws that, lower my level, and I come back, one, two, three, however I wanna follow that up. Again, you can bottom knee with the rear hand, he throws that rear hand hook, bottom knee, come in, throw my kick, whatever, okay? Make sure you always counter after a punch defense. So your next one is your catch. So it's important when, when Peyton throws the jab, he's going to be pressuring me forward. Um, so when he does this, don't just stand here and catch it. You're gonna get hit. Anytime he throws it, you wanna back up with it, right? So he throws the jab, he throws the cross, I catch each time, all right? The next one is the parry. So when he feeds the jab, I catch, the cross comes in, I parry with the front hand. Okay, there's a couple variations on this. Um, I can use the, the BG, the finger jab, over top of his arm. So I have, to, I have to know that after the jab, what comes most often, the cross, right? So when he throws that jab, I catch, there's my BG, okay? Again, I can follow up with punches and kicks, uh, whatever, whatever comes next. So catch, pair, okay? Catch, BG, all right? Uh, you also have a, what's called a hewn sow. Okay, that comes off of uh, that comes out of Wing Chun. When he throws this punch, I can kind of catch it and use my wrist to throw his hand out and come in. Okay, works really well to set up an elbow. So I kind of catch hewn sow and then come in with the elbow shot. Okay, I can do the same thing with the front hand on his cross. Come in with the spear elbow. That's your hewn sow. Okay, the next one is your elbow destruction. All right. So when he's, throwing his, when he's throwing his jab, I keep my hand up on my forehead and I catch his hand on my elbow. Okay, you gotta be very careful if, the, if your partner doesn't have gloves when you train this. But this is your elbow destruction, all right? The elbow destruction leads into covering, okay? So let's say he goes jab, cross, hook. When he throws a jab, I can, I can catch. He throws a cross, I can, I can elbow destruction. When he throws a hook, here's my cover. All right, so if we switch right lead so you can see it better, when he throws the jab, boom, he throws the cross, boom, here's the cover, okay? This is tight cover, tight cover, okay? You have mid cover, mid cover is more here. And you have your uh, busau, which is your finger jab, it's a finger block, so to speak, this way, okay? They also call, call this cover and hit. You can cover and hit from here, you can cover and hit from more of your mid cover, <clears throat> or you can cover and hit from your tight cover, okay? The, la 
last the last thing you have on your uh, punch defense uh, from the from the hook punch is I have my cover tight cover mid cover just hold it up mid cover you saw uh, cover and hit tight cover and hit mid cover and hit all those variations the last one is when he goes to throw this a shoulder stop so I just bring my palm in right on his shoulder and that opens up really well for the cross that's when they do a real wide hook punch you can shoulder stop okay. Your next one is the sway back off of the hook punch. Okay, so when he throws this hook punch, I sway back, immediately come in and counter. Okay, it's kind of controversial. Uh, some guys will, will not like this because your jaw's kind of exposed when you lean back. I kind of like it because you can usually get out of the way and counter really easily. So your next one is your double cover. So this one's kind of like an oh crap. The guy just blitzed me. How am I going to defend it? So, Peyton's coming at me, he's throwing multiple punches, here's my double cover. There's a variation of hooks, things like this. This is a great drill because I, I like to do it with boxing gloves, obviously, not bare knuckle. But it, it helps you to keep your eyes open while punches are coming at you. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of new students, they flinch and they close their eyes. This it helps you to keep both eyes open. So when he comes in with uppercuts, hooks, whatever, I'm, I'm covering on that. That's your double cover. Your next one is the split entry. Okay, so when Peyton throws the jab, you can get the split entry off of the jab or off of the cross. So when he throws his jab, it's coming right towards my nose. I slip a little bit. This hand's going to parry. This hand's going straight in. Okay. When he throws the cross, I split. Okay, this can be going to the throat, the eyes, I can punch, the body, whatever, whatever target I choose to hit off of the, off of the split entry. So again, off the jab, off of the cross. We go right lead, he throws the jab, split, off of the cross, split. Okay? Next one is your Wong Pak Buji. So when he throws the jab, I'm gonna parry the hand as I come as I come underneath. So I parry the hand, I come underneath in this gap. Okay? So it looks like this. Wong Pak Buji. Okay, that's going to the eye. So if you notice, my rear foot slides a little bit as I do this. Wong Pak Buji. That opens up real good for the overhand, the cross. Uh, you can hit the body real easily off of this, right? The, the kick to the leg, all those targets are open from this technique, right? Same thing, when he throws across, it slides with my front foot, there's my long pop fusion, right? So one more time, real slow, parry the hand. This one comes up in between this gap. Long pop fusion. Then I can do my punches, my follow-ups. So the next one is your horizontal gun tank. This comes from the Filipino martial arts. As Peyton throws this punch, I'm going to mouse his bicep. I'm going to hit right here with my knuckles. So when he throws it, I parry and I hit. Okay? He throws the, the cross, I parry and I hit. See where my knuckles are hitting? That's the, the mouse on the bicep. This is your horizontal gun tip. So we switch right lead so you can see the left, the left hand. Boom, he throws the cross, horizontal gun tip. Same thing as the long pock, I'm moving side to side on that. Next one is your vertical gun tank. He throws, I'm going to hit the nerve cluster on the tricep or underneath of the arm. Okay, those are my two targets when I do this vertical gun tank. So he throws, boom, that's what it looks like. Uh, some people, um, go to jab again, will pair it and it'll come in this way, more of like a spear elbow to the, to the armpit area. Boom, and then it'll come back. Um, you can also just come right in this way and then parry the hand down for your boxing. Same thing you can do with the cross, right? Off of the jab, the cross, this way. We'll switch right knee for you. Throws the jab, vertical gun ting. Throws the cross, vertical gun ting, okay? So when Peyton throws the cross, right? This is one of the defenses for, for the cross. You have your split, gun tings, uh, all those different techniques. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites. It's called a shoulder roll. You could do the shoulder roll without the kick. I prefer to do it with the kick. So when that cross comes in nice and slow, I elevate my shoulder and I roll, roll back, okay? So when I do it with the kick, it looks like this. I have shoulder roll and kick. Immediately I can come back in with my hands, my feet, all that kind of stuff. Uh, jab, I don't like to shoulder roll off the jab. It's just too fast. You're, you're very rarely gonna get it. Uh, so, so I like to catch the jab and then shoulder roll on the cross and then come back in with my counters. Okay, so that's your uh, student level one punch defense.